Hi guys, this is Lance from Switzerland. I'm going to show you in this Dwarf Fortress tutorial what to do when there is a, a mood, uh, when your one of your dwarfs is being possessed, um, when he has a when he's taken by a fey mood, or when he withdraws from society. These are the kind of messages that you encounter um, uh, sooner or later, and um, you have to make sure that this is not turning into anything um, worse, uh, as I'll explain um, right now. So these three occurrences are the most common ones and uh, they differ under each other but they have something in common um, once they're taken by a mood they will claim um, a workshop into your, in, in your fortress and uh, they want to try to um, create an artifact. Um, they want to make an artifact out of stuff that you have in your uh, dungeon and sometimes they want stuff that is not really there and that you really cannot get. Um, in case everything is there and um, delivered to them and or, well basically they're getting it themselves then you're in a, on the safe side. They will just take the stuff, wander back into the workshop and create an artifact. Sometimes it's something useful, but most of the time it's just bullshit, like, um, I don't know, an, an adamantine uh, toy boat that is sinking as soon as a kid plays with it, um, or whatever. But the good thing is, um, they gain a lot of experience for that, and um, yeah, sometimes they spit out really good stuff. Alright. Um, the difference between these moods is that if they are in a fey mood, so if it says um, Urist Mac Crazy is taken by a fey mood, uh, then they will clearly state their demands on what they want if you examine the workshop. Um, so if there would be a dwarf in here, I would go and check with Q. I'm sorry that I was too lazy to wait for a dwarf to be actually in a fey mood. Um, so with Q, I go over the workshop, and if there is a dwarf in there with a fey mood, it say here what he actually wants. All right, and then you can provide the stuff or not. Maybe you can trade it, or you can just manufacture it if you want something. I don't know, bed or pff, uh, I don't know. And um, if he is, uh, if he withdraws from society. He's also taking the workshop and he's starting to draw um, sketches on the wall of what he needs. So the, he won't be very specific, he's just going to describe it. And um, um, that's, that's rather funny, like if it says uh, he's drawing pictures of a forest, it obviously means that he, that he needs uh, woodlocks. And uh, there's also a little bit more... Um, yeah, cryptic descriptions that start to get hard. So if you want to know exactly what it is and do not want to figure it out, you can head to the Dwarf Fortress wiki and um, uh, that there's there's a description of uh, every word in there that they could spit out and what it means basically. Um, it gets even worse if uh, there is um, the possessed state, so if a dwarf has been possessed um, it says even uh, yeah, it's, it's it's not really clear. They start to babble, and you have to figure out what they want. Um, pretty much the same way as in uh, when they are taken by a, um, uh, when they're being taken by a, se a secretive mood um, when they withdraw from society. So it gets harder um, to figure out what they want. Basically, the good thing about moods is uh, also that aside from the artifact that's being created that they gain a lot of experience in what they do. That's quite handy um, but there's an exception when they are being possessed and they create something um, they will not gain any experience by that and uh, yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it. Oh and as uh, lucky as I am uh, one of my dwarfs <laughs> is just as I am recording it's being possessed, so we can uh, watch it right now. So Melby Egul Mepzut, the boyer, has been possessed. Uh, it's one of these guys, and um, it's him actually with the exclamation mark. And if I press space and resume now, he will go down the stairs into my workshop area, which we should see. 
Now where is it? Here. And now what's happening is quite, in uh, quite interesting. interesting. Um, he's not moving um, at all. Now he is. We're going down to the uh, Boyer workshop. And um, the reason why he was not moving is that the, the workshop that he tries to claim did not exist at all. So I just built a Boyer's workshop here and now he's arriving and uh, tries to claim the uh, workshop. And as you can see, immediately as he went in, he's going now down to my storage area, so there must be items that he uh, uh, might have found. So he will be returning soon with the items. There you go, there's a log. Now he's going back. He gets some more stuff. Yep, another piece of wood. Oh, and some more. What the fuck is he building? A Trojan horse? So, as you can see, he obviously got everything that he needs. He just uh, took a block with him. And now we are lacking material. Exactly. There you go. Um, he mutters he needs blocks, bricks, cloth, thread, shining gems. Um, rough color, tree life, tree life is woods, he already has that, he has stone blocks. So what I need to do now is to figure out what he exactly wants um, provided to him if I can, or I just start to wall him in. Um, and uh, you have to be careful for that because um, my dwarfs, and your dwarfs as well, they can move diagonally, so you have to really wall the complete workshop in so he cannot get out if you are unable to provide what he needs. And in this case, I am probably um, not able to uh, uh, provide what he needs because I don't have any dye and he wants uh, obviously some color. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe not. Um, but you can read up on all these descriptions in the wiki and uh, it's it's quite good for that part. Alright, I hope this helped you about uh, moots. Uh, this should cover you for uh, quite a long time and uh, see you on the next tutorial.